In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Raspberry Pi to read sensor data using .NET Core IoT device bindings. My name is Kutsai Mandi Teresa with Industry 40.tv and I regularly publish Internet of Things videos right here on this channel. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to never miss any of the videos. Now to read the sensor information, we're going to use a .NET Core IoT package called iot.device.bindings which is an open source package that is compatible with a wide range of IoT sensor devices. I've got one such sensor here, the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor connected to the Raspberry Pi 4B+. Plus. So this one here has got three wires, two of them are for power supply and the other one is for communication. So I've got the communication line connected to GPIO pin number 18 of the Raspberry Pi. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a .NET Core IoT application to read the temperature and humidity sensor values from this DHT11 device. Okay, so now I'm on my Visual Studio here, so I'll go ahead and create a new project. And then here I will select .NET Core Console App, click on Next, and then I'll call it DHT11 binding and then I'll go ahead and create my project okay so the first thing that we want to do is to import our iot.device.binding package so to do that you go to your project right click select manage nuket packages and then under browse here you can search for iot.device.bindings Okay, I'll select that one, click on install, okay, accept. Okay, so our package has been successfully installed. Now I'll go ahead and add it to the assembly reference. And then here I'll look for my DHT sensor from this list of compatible devices. We're going to use the dht.xx. Okay, and then now I'll go to my main function here. And then I'll paste this code. Okay, so here I'm actually creating an instance of the DHT sensor. And then I'm specifying GPIO pin number 18 as our communication line. And then here, this is a super loop. Here I'm actually reading the temperature using this simple statement here and then here I'm reading the humidity and then I'm displaying those values on the console. And then on this statement here I'm actually delaying for 2 seconds. So we're reading the temperature and displaying it after every 2 seconds. So I'll go ahead and build this solution. Okay, so our rebuild has been successful. So now we need to publish this solution in such a manner that we can run it on our Raspberry Pi. So to do that, we go to your project, right click, select publish. Okay, I'm going to publish it to a folder. Click on next, finish. Now here we go to our target runtime and click on the edit icon. Here we are going to select the deployment mode and set it as self-contained and then under target runtime here we select Linux ARM which is our Raspberry Pi architecture and then I'll click on save and then go ahead and publish. Okay so our solution has been successfully published. Now we need to move our executable files to our Raspberry Pi. So to do that, I'm going to use this software called WinSCP. So I'll go to my C drive here and then into my DHT11 binding. I'll go to the bin directory, release.net core app, and then under publish. This is where all my files are. 
So now I need to move them to this Raspberry Pi directory here. So I'm going to create a new directory and call it DHT11. I'll open it and then I'll move my files into that directory. Okay, now the next thing that I need to do is to set permissions for my executable to allow it to run on this Linux system. So I'll right click here, go to properties, and then I'll check these Xboxes. Click on OK. OK, now I need to access my Raspberry Pi terminal. So I'm going to use party for that. And then I'll log in to my Raspberry Pi. Okay, and then I'll cd into my directory, which is dht11. And then I'll go ahead and execute our solution. Oops. Okay, now we start to get our temperature and humidity values. Okay, so to check out the rest of the IoT sensors that are supported by the IoT.device bindings package, you can go to the .NET IoT GitHub. And then here, if you go under the source directory and into the devices, you can see the list of all the sensors and devices that are supported by this package. And you can also find some sample code in this repo. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your connections. Thanks for watching.